I'm going to speak about open spaces and recreation. This week, I have been the subject of some unpleasant social media attacks from the concessionaire of the golf course. Who said that, by the way? Excuse me, I, I, I've checked people saying, oh, not again, when I'm speaking. That's very rude. It is indeed, because I've already asked everybody to be courteous, which so far, everybody has been courteous and listened to each speaker in turn. So can we please adhere to that? Courteousness costs nothing. Would you like to continue, Mr. Bailey? Thank you. Who is taking the opportunity of accusing me of preventing him being allowed to put in 16,000 cubic metres of landfill on the golf course and thus spoiling his chance of making a go of his business? Those of you who have been following this know this is untrue. Our local expert produced an excellent report stating that, in brief, this proposal could be too risky for users of the coast path as the unsupported waste would be dumped on an unstable, steeply sloping site. Naturally, England also confirmed this. If you wish to have copies of the reports, please speak to me after the meeting. However, the concessionaire also posted that I make him want to grant an option to Persimmon Homes. And I think that this is the crux of the matter right there. Maybe the concessionaire has let the cat out of the bag. Is it possible that this is part of his arrangement with North Somerset Council? After all, why else would a businessman still be there if he's losing money as fast as he says he is? What is in it for him? Is this finally the true answer? Is it possible that the rejection of town green status the introduction of the signs threatening removal of access from residents in August this year, if problems arise, is a cynical preparation towards using the golf course land for building. Is it possible that the news on the front page of the North Somerset Times today that Peter Bryant has again rejected Kilkenny Fields for the skate park is also to do with the fact that it would prevent that land being built on? His stated excuse is that it would spoil the old world feel of the area. Is it possible that Elfin Apreese, he who authorised the traffic lights at Cabstand, wasting £800,000 of our money, that his previous rejection of Kilkenny Fields for the skate park was also to make sure it stayed available for building? Make no mistake, the next government has pledged to build many more houses. And North Somerset Council will have to build thousands more in our area. You ain't seen nothing yet. And house builders like to build in Porter's Head as they can sell property here for very high prices. This brings me to my next point. If we do not move quickly, there simply will not be enough space left in our town to put in a wheels or a skate park where our children can play. So it's time we got onto it. Therefore, we demand a parish poll. The residents of Portis Head demand that a concrete skate or wheels park is provided as soon as possible, sited within 15 minutes walking distance of the town high street. We demand that the cost of approximately 125,000 pounds is met by the Town Council out of their current funds that are in excess of £500,000. I'd like to know if you're in favour of this action, and Mr Paul Maltby will now second this motion. Thank you. Can you hear, Charlie?